Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm finishing my Mercury 1.1 build and just want to share where I'm at with things and then just go over the complete build, some of the changes I've made since my previous videos, and now show you how things are starting to get up and running and I'm working on configs now. So my last video, I had gotten the uh, X Gantry and Motion System set up, and my intent was to do sensorless homing. I'll be honest, I just couldn't get it working. Um, that's one reason why I had to go to a fourth video, is I spent a lot of time trying to figure that out. I have my X Gantry. I've gone ahead and installed the Hermit Crab. Now I have two Hermit Crabs. I have a basic and a can version. I decided to just go with the, the basic version for right now. That's a little bit easier. I also printed this piece here and I did cut out a hole here. I'm going to wind up reprinting this, but I just wanted to get things mounted. And like I said, I'll just clean this up. I needed the notch here based on the hot end I selected and the duct system. And I went with a different duct system. I've redesigned it a little bit specifically for this printer. I wanted a duct system that I only need to print like half dozen pieces. And in fact, I think I'm down to four pieces is all I, or five if I count this uh, wire guide. Five pieces that need to be printed. So just let's point out a couple changes I've made. As I mentioned, I could not get sensorless homing to work appropriately. And I, at first I thought maybe my stepper motors were wired wrong, some other issues. No, it, it just turned out I couldn't get the config right. So what I did was I took the axes or the end stops I already had for the Ender 5 Plus, including the cords, and the cords were all long enough, and just mounted them on my frame. So right here I've mounted an X-axis, and this is right on my mount plate for the linear rail. And then I've also, in the back corner here, installed the Y-axis, and this will bump here. So that's all set up and just interesting points. Had to, in my build plate, I just drilled two little holes, which I suggest that I'm not, I'm just gonna leave this basic model out there that I've already listed and I'll, I'll put it in the video description. And I just drilled holes in it to match my end stop. All end stops aren't the same and there's no way to, for me to make really universal holes for them. So, I just drilled holes and then just put uh, threaded inserts in, and that's worked really well. Now, in order to get something to bump here, I found this a, a model on the user community for Mercury One. I changed it a little bit, made some measurements, and I put the screw here so when this comes over, it'll bump here and activate the X end stop. The Y end stop, I just needed to prop it up high enough and it activates right when it hits the gantry. So that's all working. So I can literally go ahead and home things now. Before I do that, I wanna go ahead and show you the hot end I selected and just go over that. And then real quickly, I'll mount the hot end on the BQ Hermit Crap and we'll home things and you can see it working. So here is the hot end. What I've done is, let's count how many pieces we need here. The, this piece, there's one piece here. So one, two with the duct, three and four with the BL touch. So as I said, fairly simple. It was an easy print. The one mistake I made was I mirrored this the wrong way by mistake. I wasn't paying attention. So I ate. I've made a new block here where I've mirrored everything so the tensioner will be on the outside. So that's a little bit more correct. But I like this hot end because it's easy to print. And I just wanted something simple. I've said this in previous videos that I am really trying with all my printers to standardize what I'm using. So on most of my printers, I'm using a Volcano hot end. I like the Volcano. And this also minimizes the other heat blocks I need to do, nozzles. I just want to standardize so that way I can have, I don't have to have multiple versions or multiple types of stuff. So I like that. The other thing I'm doing on a lot of my printers is changing over to the BMG clones. I like those. 
find them compact and they're easy to find. I can get a decent one on Amazon for about $15 and get it next day. Again, that's, that's all compartmentalized. Here's everything mounted on the mount plate for the BQ Hermit Crab. So I can just plug this in. The only thing I need to cut to take this out was the filament. And if you look at the marks here, I'm already starting to do some calibration to get everything right. BL Touch Works. I'm doing the 15, the 5015 fan for the blower. And again, a simple duct system. I looked at doing something more complicated. And I really just wanted to finish this build and really wanted something simple. Right now, I've done everything in PLA Plus, and I'm going to see how that holds up. And I'm going to put all these models in, um, I'll put them on printables, Thingiverse, etc. So they'll all be out there. I just need to get all my different models and stuff together and make sure everything's named appropriately. So I'll launch those. So what I'm going to do is go ahead over, mount this on the printer. And then we'll take a quick look at Clipper and home the printer so you can see it moving. And then I'll call it a wrap. So over here at the printer, I'm just going to mount this. And I'm going to go ahead and I really should put the uh, filament in, load it. Let's go ahead and do that. So let me heat this up off camera. And then I'm going to load the filament in. And that way you can see just everything working together. Now I've gone ahead and loaded the filament. And as you can see here, everything's heated successfully. I've done a PID tune, but I haven't set the offsets and messed with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to cool down. And we'll see in the graph here in a minute, things will start moving down. So again, that, that's all working correctly. I'm getting temperatures for the bed, for the extruder. I can go over here and turn on the fans. I can hear the hot end fan going because I'm over 100 C and that's going. And then I can also turn on the park cooling fan. Let's launch that. So if I come over here, let's get rid of my filament that I extruded. Fans running here, fans going on the side. Well, that's appropriate. So we're looking good. And then real quickly, let's just run home and make sure that's all working. I've gone over into my Clipper interface and I'm just going to go ahead and hit home and then switch over to my printer so we can watch that. As you can see, the X end stop worked. So it worked both the X and Y end stop. The BL touch is going. So there we go, it's homed. And Right now, we know the hot end is working, the build plate's working, everything appears to be going. So my next steps are to go through and run all my various calibrations. And I may make a video of the calibrations of this thing, just sort of as a separate aside. And then I also need to do some test prints. I may just make a short of the test prints. But right now, I'm really pleased with this build. So let's just... Real quick look at the changes I needed to make in the printer.config in the previous video I showed using the SKR and setting it up for Clipper. I'll link that above. If I go over to the printer.config, I'm just going to show you the, the main change I had to make that actually took me a while to figure out. I had to change the kinematics to Core XY. I had left that um, as a bed slinger for a while. And again, it took me a Took me a time to figure that out. That was the main change I had to make going down through. The only other minor change was changing the XY offset for the BL touch. And I still need to set the Z offset, so I'm going to work on that today. That's part of my configuration process. But otherwise, everything's pretty much the same as when I originally set this up for Clipper. So it's pretty simple. Now I'll go ahead and post this printer.config in my GitHub repo and then put a uh, link in the video description. Just a couple things uh, to wrap up about the Mercury One and my experience. I think overall this is a great build. 
It's quick and easy to print all the parts. I mentioned in the past it was a little hard with documentation and all that, but I think if you watch some of the videos I've made and then some other creators have made, there's some really good instruction out there. Uh, the parts are relatively cheap with the linear rails, and I did go cheap on those as well. It was about maybe $200, $250 for everything, not including the printer. And that includes the board. Now, I didn't show wiring the end stops on the board. I'm going to link above to a video where I've wired the SKR3. But overall, this is, this is the build. And like I said, I'm really, really pleased with it. If you like what I'm doing, where you have questions or comments, please post them below. I try to get back with everybody. I'm also going to post either in the video description or in a pinned comment all the various STLs that I used in this video. I have the STLs out there in my previous videos or either in the pinned comment again or in the video description. So this is Mike from Minimal 3DP. If you like what I'm doing, please share and feel free to also like and subscribe to my work. I appreciate your time and I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thanks. Have a great day.